welcome to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. I try all these products out for you and share my honest reviews. We are battling the High Bar Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner Bar set against the Kitsch Rice Water Shampoo and Conditioner Bars. There are five things I want you to know before you pick one of these. We'll kick it off with price. Kitsch, 28 bucks, 3.6 ounces. High Bar, 26.50, 2.7 ounces. So it's a couple more bucks for Kitsch. I said that in a very high voice. You do get an extra ounce there, although there's a subscribe and save thing that you can get. So it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Ingredients are a little bit different. Both have coconut derivatives. Both have rice water protein. They are also fragranced, but one brand is transparent about that and one brand really, really sadly was not. Brand that was transparent wins in my book. That's High Bar. Kitsch gave me some information. It just like skirted around it. I also know different formulas can be proprietary, so I fully understand that, but I'm gonna go with the brand personally that is transparent. Your call on what you decide to do. Okay, the number of washes, this is kind of interesting. Expectation versus reality here. Kitsch says on the packaging that it's good for 100 washes. High Bar says it's good for 80 washes. And they talk about, you know, you're replacing with these zero waste options or close to zero waste, a lot of shampoo bottles that we have notoriously around. This is why we're looking at them, right? One of the reasons. I've been using Kitsch and I gotta tell you, the shampoo bar, which I'll get into, I like using more than the conditioner. I, there's no way that's gonna last for 100 washes and my hair is not that long. So I, I don't know about that. I don't know if that stands up to that claim. That's a hefty claim. And then you have the high bar 80 washes. I could see it getting close to 80. It kind of went a little bit fast too. So I'm not sure about those claims. I don't know. I'm, I haven't sat here and been like one, two, three. Kitsch is going much faster than the high bar. Scent wise, really I like to focus more on is it overwhelming? In terms of both of these bars, I did not find it to be overwhelming. I really didn't. The Kitsch bar smells more artificial to me. It smells sweeter, more vanilla-y. If you like a sweet fragrance, then that could be your thing. But the high bar has more of a citrus scent. There is citrus oil or extract in there, which can be a little bit irritating. I think that's in the shampoo. I have the full scorecards available so you can check them out. Really just depends on what scent you like. I preferred the high bar scent personally, but I love citrus scent. And finally, sort of the bulk of this, right? Like applying it to hair post rinse, did I see the results? I'll just be upfront and honest with you. I did not see overwhelming results in either of these. I just, I just didn't. You know, I've tried products in the past where I've seen results in about a week. Sometimes it takes 30 days or 60 days. So I wanna be fair. I didn't use them straight for 60 days. Most of these I've used for two weeks, three weeks for one reason or another. Maybe it weighed my hair down, maybe it got a little itchy or something and it irritated. But yeah, it didn't overwhelm me with the claims of like shinier hair and growth and all the rest of it. In terms of application though, the shampoo from Kitsch, I really did like. It lathered really easily, it applied to hair really easily. It just got in there and did its thing really well. And when it rinsed out, it didn't feel stripping at all. The high bar shampoo lathered up pretty well, got into hair pretty well. I liked the shape. I felt like it was pretty easy to work with. Some people, you're just, it's a personal thing. When it rinsed out, my hair felt more squeaky. So I wasn't a huge fan of that but it flip-flopped with the conditioners. So my experience with the Kitsch conditioner and I just put it on the ends, then it just weighed my hair down still. I just didn't like it. It felt a little bit too heavy for my hair. I talk about all of the variables, the type of water, type of hair, how often I wash it. Those are really important to these types of reviews. All of that is back on the website, so you can check that out further. But the conditioner for the high bar, I loved. I loved it. It's not a deep conditioner, but it really did a nice job for everyday conditioning without weighing anything down. Overall scores, Kitsch received a 12 out of 20. Ooh. And then High Bar received a 14 out of 20. So again, they're not like glowing reviews, but I would personally lean towards High Bar for a number of reasons, transparency. However, I'd probably lean more towards their conditioner bar than their shampoo bar. Which one would you go for? Or would you go for neither? I know it's tough. Shampoo bars can be kind of a process. So let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe so you never miss a thing. I have to go test out some more shampoo bars over here, but I will see you back on the channel very soon. Until then, bye.